Greetings undetermined spectators of the World Wide Web. Welcome to another video. Um, this one's gonna not take very long at all because last week's video was like 11 minutes. In YouTube time measurement, that's just too long. So I'll keep it short. Um, so I'll just go straight to questions. This week I got only one question, but that's okay because it was like a cluster of a bunch of little questions inside. It was like it was like a super question, a mega question, if you will. And the main sort of gist of this ultra question was the origins of certain holidays. So first off is Mother's Day. Mother's Day actually dates back all the way to the days of the ancient Greeks and Romans who would hold festivals for their two main sort of mothering goddesses uh, named Rhea and Cybele. Uh, more recently, however, the main reason was uh, the, the uh, Christian festival that, people, that the church held known as Mothering Sunday. It seems like such a strange name for it, like, this one day is for mothering. All the other days, you know, don't, don't worry about your mothering, but today, you mother. Uh, on the other side, uh, I was asked, also asked to give the origin of Father's Day, which is a little more North American, I guess you would say. It says here, in 1966, President Lyndon B. Johnson issued the first presidential proclamation honoring fathers, designating the, fir the third Sunday in June as Father's Day. Six years later, the day was made a permanent national holiday when President Richard Nixon signed it into law in 1972. Yeah. So good on you, Nixon, for upgrading the status of Father's Day. Good on you. The third holiday is St. Patrick's Day. Uh, now, in a nutshell, uh, this one is basically in honor of St. Patrick, who is considered the patron saint of Ireland, uh, because in the 6th or 7th, 6th to 7th, uh, century, he was a missionary to Ireland from Britain, um, and March 17th, which is Pat St. Patrick's Day, is actually the day that he died um, of healthy old age, or unhealthy old age, you know, it was the 6th to 7th century. We now hold St. Patty's Day as the day to drink uh, green alcoholic beverages, and just have general belief and delusion that we are somehow part Irish. Next holiday! Which just so happens to be Valentine's Day. Uh, again, for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to summarize it. Uh, Valentine's Day is dedicated to Saint Valentine, who was a church leader way back in ancient Rome. Uh, he performed marriages, however the Roman government at one point outlawed marriages, um, which didn't phase Valentine at all, he just kept on marrying people, um, not in the way that it sounds. Unfortunately, the law eventually caught up with him, and they caught him, and his day of beheading was February 14th. So you know that day where you that you set aside for your significant other and you eat mediocre candy? Yeah, that came about from the beheading of a church leader. Cool. And moving right along, and fifth and final thing on the list is Easter, more specifically the Easter Bunny. Now, Easter, the name actually uh, comes from the pagan festival uh, that that uh, celebrated the goddess Aoster, which is spelled E-O-S-T-R-E. -E. I'm hoping you see the parallel there. Anyway, uh, for Easter Bunny, 
Um, pretty much, uh, since the dawn of time, bunnies have been a sort of symbol of fertility, fertility and new life because they're notorious for multiplying, you know. And the whole thing, the Easter bunny, uh, you know, with the whole hiding eggs everywhere, everywhere, is that Easter was right on the end of Lent, which was a period of time that Christians would set aside um, to give up something in their life that they thought they that they knew that they didn't need, like chocolate, or nowadays they can it can be TV, just something that they can give up in order to make more time for God. And way back in the day, uh, one of the most common things that people would give up for Lent was eggs. So, at the end of this whole time, where people didn't really, they just sort of gave up their egg addition, addiction, at the end was Easter, where they could eat as many eggs as they wanted. So that's kind of how the whole egg Easter thing got started. Anyway, that is all. Uh, I hope that was informative and quick, and if you have any other questions, um, hopefully none too sort of packed, uh, let's keep the super questions to a minimum. Uh, anyway, put your comments down there. Um, subscribe is down there. Down there. And yeah. Have a good day.